Hello, my name is Julius. Welcome to the JJ Movie Tees with Josh Games, everybody. And right now, I'm going to give you my original season for episode four, Keepers of the House. Now, what can I say about this episode? We finally get a name up to Evil Net is coming and trying to take over the kids and trying to take hope of Michelson. It is called The Hollow. And the Hollow is something that, that apparently was before an ancient and said ancient thing where witches are now sacrificing to. And The Hollow is within us all. The Hollow apparently is within us all and it's basically made promises to the werewolves, to Haley's old crescent pack, um, to the um, witches, to anybody that listens to him. That they, they, the hollow will give it its heart desire. And whatever it was, that whatever it is, it's hollow. It's, it takes on the form of a blue light, and you're not supposed to look into that blue light, and then you're going to be taken over by it or like possessed. You know, Detective Keatley, uh, uh, kidding, it was uh, possessed by it, is possessed by it. He is going about to sacrifice the four children along with a group of witches, and sum it up, um, Klaus and Marcel, uh, well, Klaus kills Kenny. The kids are eventually rescued and they're brought to their families. Um, Vincent uh, is mad that, uh, Kenny is dead, Detective Kenny is dead. And he's wondering if this is just the beginning of the Hollow just trying to take over and will it possess them. And during this time, um, both, uh, Klaus and Marcel were put into this, like, witch circle right after Klaus killed Kenny. And there was like this magical barrier that stopped uh, Elijah, Haley, and Vincent from going to Marcella and Klaus. And next thing you know, they're under. They see this blue light, and they're and Mar and Vincent is trying to break the spell. And the only way to break the spell is to kill one of the kids. And Elijah looks like he was gonna do it, but Haley, uh, uh, they convince it, and they they connect Elijah to the kids, and then Haley stabs Elijah, which uh, makes him die temporarily. And then the spell is broken. And Haley was talking to Elijah about, like, well, you're going to kill those kids. And he said, I would have done what I had to do to protect our family. And she says that we need to look we need to look past that. We can't keep always putting our family first because we're always going to create these enemies. And I'm really liking Haley in Season 4 right now. I like how she's taking charge and how she's just trying to stop this family from continuing the same path over and over again. And Elijah needs to stop being... Uh, well, he doesn't need to stop being the way he is, it's just... He needs to not. He needs to try to look at more of like a different scenario in order to protect his family. And think of it as a last possible choice. But at the end of the day, hope was uh, this entire episode just had a lot of hope. Talking to her father, bonding with him, and she's afraid of the hollow once it wants with her, and she's just very afraid of it. And then Klaus says he'll always protect her. And basically, she, uh, Hope knows that um, the Hollow's now in Klaus, and the Hollow's basically taken over this uh, the original family. In some cases, along with uh, Marcel. Marcel is now uh, commenced by now. Next episode is going to be Klaus versus uh, Marcel, and it's going to be very interesting to see. We also see that Klaus is going to hallucinate Michael in the next couple episodes. That's going to be very, very interesting. So the Hollow has arrived. The originals are shaken to the core. Haley talked to a former werewolf member of her clan, and we figure out the werewolves were off, also offered by the Hollow. And Haley feels guilty for abandoning her pack because she chose the original family over her pack, which, after Jackson, she just went with the original family. Also, what happened? Um, Freya, I believe, will have a love interest with uh, Keelan, the werewolf girl. So this will be the first bisexual... Um, uh, uh, I, I phrase bisexual, but I think the uh, werewolf girl's a uh, uh, lesbian. But either way, doesn't matter. But I think those two will be eventually become a couple because while F Frey is in New Orleans, she's looking for Marcel's venom so they could track it down, uh, track down of it, uh, study the venom, track it down, and basically find your way to kill uh, kill Marcel. And so she gives uh, Keelan this moonstone, and the moonstone again, she won't transform. On the full moon, but she still have her powers, and basically what she always wanted. But Freya decides to uh, put a leash on her in order for her to not to take it off. So it's a power, uh, so it's like a power handle. But the thing is, though, Freya now trusts Keelan, and now she's gonna not. Uh, she took off the spell, and now Keelan can leave whatever she wants in a way. But it's gonna be very interesting to see where this relationship's gonna go. I get, I feel like this is gonna be a love interest, which I don't mind at all. I love. Uh, Nora and uh, Mary Louise on the Vampire Diary. So the first uh, same-sex combo, I don't really care. But I'm glad that Frey is gonna have to find someone maybe to love. It's 
some love in her life, so I'm happy for her, Freya, if this is it. And this is going to be a future love interest for her, but here's the problem with all the originals and their love interests. They always die. Um, Elijah with Gia, uh, Klaus and Aurora, Klaus with Cami, Cole and Davina. If you're tied to originals and if you're in love with them, you're going to be collateral damage. I guarantee you, Freya will lose if they become a couple today. Keelan will not survive the season, and if she does, I'll be very surprised. But more likely, she'll be used as collateral damage. Same thing with Marcel and his girl that he's uh, dating. I think Sonya, that's her name. The vampire huntress girl, that's for hire. I believe she'll be used against Marcel, and she'll eventually die as well. Anyone they love will eventually die, and that's the whole point of Rindrel family. Family forever, and anyone in between really doesn't really have a chance. Unless you're like Kaylee, she's the only exception that I see. And she gave birth to a Michelson, so she has to stay with this family. But overall, I'm just looking forward to the next episode of the originals. I don't know what to expect about the hollow. Will it take a spiritual form? Will it actually have a living thing? How will they kill it? It's going to be very interesting thing to see. So now Fran's going to have to worry about the hollow and Marcel. See if they can switch it around. But overall, originals is killing it for this season. I believe it's a very good season. It's just not my overall favorite so far. One is going to be 13 episodes, and there's not enough, like, you can have doom and gloom, you can have all this depressing stuff, but there has to be these little moments where you're, like, smile and you laugh at these jokes. And original season one, two, three, they always had that, they always had it, but they had a lot more episodes to deal with it. And so original season four has only had 13 episodes, but I'm really enjoying this season. I still say my favorite episode of the season so far is episode three previous episode but original season four keepers of the house we now know the big evil what it's called the hollow and apparently it's going to walk the earth soon so i cannot wait for the next original episode everybody so subscribe if you like the screen not bound link comment down below let me know respect my opinion i respect yours let me know what y'all think of everybody of the original season four episode four keepers of the house everybody name's lane signing off for you to everybody bye bye